this is Shadow Mario 41, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. I know the last chapter was so emotional for all of us, but you have to remember that gameplay-wise, it was very successful. I accomplished everything I needed to, but I remember my first time through this game. As a kid, I had no idea how long this game was. I didn't know anything that was going to happen later on. I didn't research any of the maps or anything. I was before that. Um, so I was thinking to myself, Okay, well, we stopped Nurgle's dragon ritual. Lord Darren, the self-proclaimed ruler of the world, is now dead. Um, we Ephidel died in some crazy Dragon's Gate fiery explosion. And we found, unfortunately couldn't quite save, but we did find Lord Elbert, who we've been searching for this whole time. So that plot thread is closed. Now what? Now what the heck is gonna happen? And then I started thinking about it a little more. We're gonna find out in Chapter 20, New Resolve, but... I started thinking, okay, there's a few characters that we've been introduced to that we don't know too much about. Uh, we've heard about Jafar, and we've seen him in action. We've, we've seen Limstella, or Limestella, however you want to pronounce that. Um, and, uh, this is, and we heard this name, Brendan Reed, come up a lot. So there's definitely some other characters that we haven't explored. And I have a feeling if they're all connected to the Black Thing. And remember, Nurgle was just injured, not killed, definitely not killed. Um, so, that he will probably be after us with the most elite members of the Black Fang to because he's pissed off. I'd be pissed off too if that was my plot and then this ragtag group just came here and interrupted it. That would be crazy. He was interrupted by a kid. Nils stopped everything. It's wild. That's wild. But, yeah, so we'll probably be encountering the Black Fang and dealing with all of that. There's a lot of story that happens right here, so you might want to pay attention. But, meanwhile, I'm going to talk about that. Remember, last chapter we recruited Legault, the Hurricane himself. Um, I've also been told that his name may be pronounced Lego, like a French pronunciation, but just like I was just just talking about with Lime Stella and Lim Stella, and I say Merlinus, I think it's supposed to be Merlinus. I'm not gonna get too hung up on Fire Emblem ambiguous names and pronunciations. Trying to it's like trying to pronounce everything from like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones properly. It's just a mess. The, like, the names are too long, it's hard to do. So I'm not gonna get hung up on that. If you remember too, I also got the member card, and the member card is a very elusive item in this game that you can only get in that specific chapter by stealing it from that specific thief. If you fail to do that, then you will not have access to any of the secret shops from this point forward. So it's a very, very important item, especially when coupled with the silver card, which even if you don't have all the bonus transfer data, you can steal in chapter 18X then that just makes for a great combination of being able to get a lot of rare and very, very useful items in this game for a very good price. And it's much harder to get in this game. I didn't even know about it when I was a kid. I, I, even, I probably killed that thief without a second thought, without even looking at his inventory. But um, the thing is that in Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, they also have a member card in that game, but it's so much easier to get because it's just in the inventory of one of the characters that you recruit. So you don't have to worry about looking out for this one thief and stealing it. So don't miss that opportunity if you're playing this game to get the member card. Uh, we also took care of, like I was saying, Darren, the ruler of the world, is no more. So he's, he's dead. And Cameron, the master of rhetoric, I guess he, he was maybe a significant character. He kind of just came out of left field, but he's dead too. So, Nils and Ninian right now are talking about all the plot. Unfortunately, we did find Lord Elbert, but we couldn't quite save him. However, we're going to make sure that his sacrifice was not in vain. If you remember during his ritual, Nils showed up and kind of interrupted things, kind of distracted Ninian. And then while Nurgle was busy dealing with that, Elbert... Well, we don't really know what he did. We, I assume that he stabbed him with, like, a dagger or something in the back or a knife. He could have just punched him in the face. We really have no idea. It just made the little animation on the character dialogue screen. So, I like to think of it as, like, Ner uh, Elbert just, like, wound up and socked him right in the face. That could have happened. Who knows? But, anyway, it is kind of a shame, I think, that we didn't get to fight uh, Ephidel. I would like if this game had us fight Ephidel rather than him just dying in some fiery Dragon's Gate explosion. Although, I guess that is a satisfying death for, for a, a much-hated character. But still, even if it was like an animated scripted battle and we didn't have to actually control it, it would have been cool to see Hector just cleave his head right off. And Lin is coming to the exact realization that I was talking about before, that we pretty much just brought Ninian back to where she was held captive to unleash the dragons and all these unspeakable horrors on mankind. So, not exactly the best of ideas, but hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. 
Whatever, you did nothing wrong. When Nils fell overboard, I didn't know what to do. So we're getting a lot of plot information right now of how Nils and Ninian are not just two random traveling performers. Remember the, the, when we very first found them, they were in this argument with some villager, there's some mustached man, random guy about like staying in his house or something. Imagine if like he got so mad at Nils and Ninian, he just killed them. Then the whole plot would be ruined. It would be ruined. Would he even be able to kill them? Huh, huh, there's another thought. But anyway, this uh, Nils and Ninian are going to kind of talk about a lot of the plot details right now. You can see that Ninian, uh, it costs her physical and emotional strength to be more powerful than Nils. Um, so that's why if during the ceremony, Ninian kind of succumbed to Nurgle's control and his power while Nils was able to interrupt everything. So that's kind of interesting right there. Uh, and Elliewood's going to say, was he after you because you have the power to call dragons? Uh, well, it's actually a little bit more involved than that. We can open the dragon's gate, says Nils. Why? Why? The two little kids, apparently not just kids, are not insignificant at all. They're just calling them. Nurgle can do that on his own. And Hector's like, are you serious? You can open the dragon's gate? Why you? And why, why not me? Why not? I'm Hector, damn it. I'm the best unit in the game. It requires a tremendous amount of quintessence. There's another Fire Emblem buzzword. We've heard a few of those. We have, like, the Black Fang. We have quintessence. We have morphs. That's another one. Um, there's a few other, other of those buzzwords floating around. But Nurgle calls it quintessence. It's essentially, they, they kind of try to explain it in the game. I don't know if they really do the best job. But it's essentially life energy in that, like, every person, it possesses a certain amount of quintessence. However, someone strong of heart and strong of mind possesses more quintessence than just your average, you know, deadbeat, do no, nobody, you know, and then, then just Joe Schmo. So, naturally, that sounds a lot like our party. And that sounds a lot like Elliewood, Hector... Lynn and all the units that we're traveling with would have a tremendous amount of quintessence. So well, I'm sure Nurgle has come to that realization and he is looking to harvest it from us. So it's kind of interesting that uh, Nurgle needed to gather a, lot of, a large amount of life energy to call forth the dragons. So what he decided to do, uh, Ephidel was a henchman of Nurgle. He tried to get uh, everything, like, he tried to get Ephidel to convince all the Marcuses to join Nurgle's cause and start a war in Lycia. So he would kind of make up for the fact that he didn't really have very many people with high amounts of quintessence by just killing a lot of people with a little quintessence. So sacrificing uh, quality for quantity. Just, okay, well, if I can't get one person with a ton of quintessence, I can get a lot of people with not very much. So anyway, what happened is that, uh, if all would take time, Nurgle said the easiest way to get that much quintessence was starting a war. Yeah, so we plan to make up for quality with quantity. Exactly what I just deduced, Hector. Everyone's, everyone's a little bit behind here. Come on, I'm jumping to these conclusions way ahead of everyone. Are all men nothing but pawns to him? Yeah, essentially. Ephidel brought Elbert to the Dragon's Gate. Now, Elbert was someone strong of heart, strong of mind, a, a fierce leader, well-loved by his people, and he had a lot of quintessence, 100 times more than the average person. So Nurgle was just planning on using Elbert's life energy to power this whole ritual and everything. And now that he knows about our little party here, I'm sure he's going to be after our quintessence as well, our life energy. So... Yeah, he's sure he get even better quintessence with Elbert. So, unfortunately, all the knights traveling with Elbert are no more either. Their quintessence was harvested, so... I'm so sorry, Lord Elliewood. Aww. Sad Elliewood is sad. It's alright. When I found my father at the Dragon's Gate, I knew his knights were no longer alive. Yeah. Unfortunately, his knights paid the ultimate sacrifice. But we will try to make sure it is not in vain. We have to stop this once and for all. Your father told us that he had a son. He said you were blessed with natural fighting ability. I always found that line to be very ironic because in some playthroughs, Elliewood turns out to be absolute garbage. It's just all is based on his growth rates because they're all average. Like almost everything is hovering around 50%. So sometimes you get these amazing level ups and sometimes you get nothing. It's just coin, you just flip a coin once and if it lands on heads, Elliewood will be amazing. If it lands on tails, you're Elliewood screwed and you're gonna have difficulties for the whole game. Luckily, Elliewood is one of my only units that has turned out very, very well. It's Elliewood, Hector, Guy, and that's maybe about it. Now there's a few others, but regardless. Um, so we're coming to terms with the fact that a lot of those villains, like Eric, if you remember Eric from Lycia, or not Lycia, from Laws, well, Laws is in Lycia, anyway. 
Um, he told us Eric with a K, so naturally I didn't trust him on the surface. But he did tell us that Elbert had endorsed this plan and was supporting Nurgle. Well, we're now finding out that's not true. Elbert was, as we expected, you know, the man strong of heart, strong of mind, a great leader, a noble character, one that would never give in to this cause. But since he was captured by Nurgle, he didn't really have too much of a choice, I guess, for a while. But, yeah. So, Ninian and him both spent a lot of time in captivity with Lord Elbert. His stories about his family, they saved us. So, we now kind of know that by sharing all his stories and really comforting Nils and Ninian, Elbert actually kind of served as a father figure to them and did actually save them, probably from giving in to Nurgle's plots or giving up hope or something like that. So it's kind of interesting. Sure, come on, Ninian and Nils, uh, as you say. So they're going to leave Eliwood alone to grieve for a little bit. <laughs> well, I guess not, because Ninian's just going to be like, well, I'll talk to him then. If, if none of you want to deal with him, I'll talk to him. Lord Eliwood, Ninian, I didn't see you there. I was, I was busy grieving. <laughs> I'm sorry about before. I just needed some time to think. Ninian says, you should be, you, should you be up? You've had a rough time. Yeah, I'll say. You were kind of toyed with physically and emotionally. You, you were brought back to your captors that you were trying so desperately to get. You were like, I will get, I'll go anywhere else in the world except for back to the Dread Isle. And we were like, hey, we found her. We're going to the Dread Isle. Isn't that a great coincidence? But anyway, look at all, you, all scratches and bruises. You need to be properly taken care of, says Ellie <laughs> Why? And like, why? Take care of me? Why was Lord Elbert so... Lord Elliwood, why were you so both kind to us? Well, this, this is this is all my fault, she says. Well, no, it's not your fault. It's Nurgle's fault. And of course we have to be kind to you. You're apparently this super significant part of the plot. These nightmares, all these terrible things. Ninian, crying ill suits a girl of your beauty. Oh, ho, ho. Elliwood and Ninian. Oh, I'd ship that. I'm fine. Please don't cry. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's not like you had your father killed or anything. There's something you must hear. You were not responsible for what happened to my father. I like Elliwood trying to cheer her up. That's the thing. Elliwood takes matters into his own hands. That's why I like him so much as a character. Not so much as a unit. I mean, I like him in this playthrough as a unit, but in general, not so much. But as a character, I do really like Elliwood as the main lord. He's not just some stock, you know, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's not some stock lord who's just like, oh, we're always going to do the right thing. He has, you know, he goes through ups and downs and whatever, but what is it? Oh, says Ninian. Oh, boy. Enemies? Uh, no, I knew this was coming eventually. You knew it wasn't just going to be a chapter of story, right? Enemies approach in the middle of the night. I guess they were just outside, just chilling. So what do we do now? My thought process exactly. We still haven't established that. What the heck do we do now? I wonder what's happened to Nurgle. Lord Elbert gave him a big wound when he stabbed him. His wounds will not kill him. That's what Lord Elbert said, too. Do you know what he meant? Nurgle uses quintessence on himself as well. So he can actually use this life energy that I was talking about to heal himself or to do all sorts of crazy things. So his body does not age because of all the life energy. He's taking all the life from all these people, so his body does not age. So he isn't human. If nothing else, he's... Oh, no, the cliffhanger! <laughs> oh, that makes me so bad when gays do that. Ah, uh, if nothing else, he's, he's, oh no, enemies, it's like, just tell me, just tell me, what is it? Call everyone, enemies approach, bah, Elliewood else deserves a little more time to rest, well then, we'll handle this ourselves, shall we? Ourselves, no, Elliewood is here, to save the day, that's why I like Elliewood, he does things himself, here you all are, ah, <laughs> Elliewood says, listen, get ready for battle. I want to get this over with quickly to protect the villagers. Meet the enemy commander and drive them out of here. So we're getting attacked in this little poor town. Apparently there's two chapters that take place in Badon, oddly enough. So let's go. Hey, little guy, go hide in the village, Nil says. No way. I can help you out. You really are a big help, but shouldn't you be with Ninian now? You're just a kid. Don't don't get involved in the conflict. This is this is for the adults. The adults' time now, honey. You go in your room and be quiet. Uh, all right. <laughs> That's essentially what Lin's saying. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we have to face off against in Chapter 20. But first, I have to prepare for this. So I'll see you guys after my preparations are complete. All right, we're just about ready to start Chapter 20 of Fire Emblem. Before we do, though, we have to celebrate the return of a unit from long ago. Urk is actually going to be joining the battle this time. Why bring Urk back randomly? I'll explain it a little bit. But for now, let's get started with Chapter 20. Merlinus, well on his way to becoming a great 
stationary tent. He's level 13. He keeps leveling up every chapter. So, hey, how about that? And we have a cutscene, actually, before we start off the chapter. Ninian, stop. Where are you going, says Nils. I I'm going to help. Going to help. What? And Nils like, oh, no, you ain't. You're still too weak. Ah, but I merely wish to help Lord Elliewood, even if just a little, she says. I, I stole his father's life from him. Well, I mean, if you want to place that blame on yourself so it doesn't go against my amazing tactical record, then please, by all means. But no, you didn't really do that. It was Nurgle. It's all the Black Fang and Nurgle. They're the villains here. I know this. This will never make up for it. Nils, please. I understand, he says. Give me your hands. <laughs> your hands? Huh. I'll give you some of my power. What is this? Why can these kids do all these crazy, weird magical things. It's, it doesn't make sense yet. It might make sense later, but for now, it's like, what? How can these kids have all these sort of special abilities? So Nils is actually going to sacrifice some of his own power, actually give it to Ninian, so she can go out and help Elliewood in the combat. Woo, that should do it. Help them for me, too, he says. Thank you, says uh, Ninian. As she comes outside, and Ninian is actually going to join the fight. I want to see, like, a <laughs> Smash Brothers thing. Ninian joins in. Ninian dances her way through. <laughs> Lord Elliwood, Ninian, you shouldn't be here. Please allow me to help, she says. Help? I have no intention of making you fight. That would be crazy. Ninian, fight? What kind of power can a person like Ninian have? I'm no mere dancer. My dances, they'll help you. So this is just like, oh, we get treated to a nice little show to start things off. So this is just like um, how uh, you have Tethys in Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, how you have the Herons in the Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, the console games. Uh, these dancers will actually allow your units to move again. And we actually had a very similar unit in Nils. We got to use Nils in Lin's story, a bard that makes your units move again. So, uh, But Nidian actually has a bit more to her. She uses Nidhi's Grace. So Nidian actually has these special dances that she can do. She'll gain more over time that can actually help your units out in various ways. So she actually gave Elliewood, she used Ninny's Grace, so Elliewood will actually have a increased defense and resistance for one turn. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, will accumulate a lot more over time, like I said. So Ninian proving to have much more utility than Nils does. I really, really like that. So, of course, it'll make you feel better. Let's rejoin the battle. Don't leave my side. Okay, let's get started. Uh, maybe not. No, <laughs> we're still in a cutscene. Okay. Uh, Eric. Okay, here we go. Please tell me what you want me to do. Oh, gladly. Dance for me. Dance for me. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's wrong. Let's not do that. That's weird. Ah, uh, yes. But I asked for your understanding and assistance. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Now, you might wonder why the heck did I bring Urk back? Urk is pretty piss poor for this point in the game. But, as you can see, look who we're up against. Monks everywhere. And this is very weird in, in Fire Emblem. I think it's very unique. And there's a lot of chapters in Fire Emblem in which... You're up against sages, and you're up against shamans, and you're up against druids. But very few have you pitted against a lot of light magic users. So it's very, very interesting. Um, and that's why Urk is here. Urk's job is, he has one job. Oh, wait, but first let me put his uh, animation back on. Let's put some animations on. We have to do this now. Now that we're, we turn Priscilla's off, we need to turn Urk's on, and we turn Nidian's on for now. I might change that in a little bit. But um, Urk's one job, you have one job, is just to go over here, and tank these magic units and then visit this village. And there's gonna be a bunch of monks actually in this chapter. So we're gonna be using a lot of people with high resistance. So anyway, guy's gonna go right up here. I believe there's an enemy like on the space. Okay, right there, yeah. So I didn't want to run into him. Um, this vendor, by the way, and this armory just sell kind of standard fare. I'll actually show you. I'll show you this armory uh, and I'll show you the vendor as well. You can see that there's really nothing that I need. I stocked up in the secret shop. I have plenty of weapons, so I'm not even going to deal with that with that armory. And the same thing with this vendor here. If you notice, uh, there's really just standard fare and I have plenty of weapons and items. So I can't even afford anything anyway. Uh, so I'm not going to be going over there. I am going to, however, use Lucius to go all the way back here. This monk has a 1% critical chance. We could see a critical. No. He can't even hit. Can't even hit. So Lucius easily able to tank this monk. Now, of course, Elliewood is under the spell Ninny's Grace. So we're going to make use of that to start things off by having him advance a little bit further. But first, I'm actually going to use Priscilla to use Barrier on Dart. Now, Barrier, if you remember, increases a unit's resistance. You saw that it's going to increase Dart's resistance from 1 to 8. So now Dart, with his mighty 8 resistance, can just walk out here and, and miss! And miss! What? An 87 miss to start things off? That's how you know 
a chapter is just not going to go your way. This is going to be a weird RNG type of chapter. A miss at 87%. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's use Legault. Let's see Legault a little bit in action here. We didn't get to see his sprite. I do love his battle sprite, though, I have to say. Generally, Matthew... Oh, good. They can't even hit. Matthew turns out to be a better unit, but Legault's... Look at Legault. He's so cool. I don't know. I just love that color scheme. You see his hair. It's just great. Uh, and so far, and like I said, Matthew usually turns out to be better, but this time Legault showing why he can't, showing why he's very useful, and he is a good replacement if your Matthew doesn't turn out well, kind of like mine. So, anyway, there's also a very important item we have to steal from the boss as well. And notice the victory condition is to defeat the boss, so it's not like other Fog of War chapters where we kind of like wait it out and then we're eventually done. No, we do have to be aggressive and advance forward in this chapter a lot. So anyway, uh, let's equip the Javelin here. Let's just have Florino stand there. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to use Ninian to um, actually dance for Priscilla. I'm just going to use the dance that allows allies to move again. Actually, let me move her to this space. Uh, so you can use Ninian's Grace, but like I said, it only has 15 uses. So once that runs out, you're kind of out of luck. But Ninian's dance is really nice. I do like that animation, the music. It's very, very sweet. I am going to turn it off eventually just because it takes a long time. Kind of like how I've been doing now with the healing items, but what I'm going to do is move Priscilla right up here. And I could use Barrier on Legault as well. Actually, I didn't even really think of that. Um, let's, nah, I don't really think that'll be ultimately as helpful as just lighting things up to see what lies ahead. So let's do that. We have to watch out for the knights up there, but we have Dart going down the center there. We have, um, oh, another knight over there. We have a uh, guy still has the Lance Reaper, and there's a new type of unit! Flying in from over there from the darkness. Elliot has Nitty's Grace. These guys may be able to hit him, but won't be able to do much else, really. They, they're pretty pathetic, so there we go. Elliot was doing some work. That's what I like to see. Uh, we're going to see Urk back in action down there. First guy is going to take maybe a little bit of abuse from this uh, monk. Yeah, he took two damage, but that's okay. That's okay. No big deal. Um, I want to see Urk, though. The return of Urk. This brief return of Urk with a Thunder Tome. He's just going to do work against these monks. These monks won't be able to do anything to Urk. And a critical! He's showing off now. Now he's showing off. He's like, thank you for giving me another opportunity. Now I'm going to prove to you why I deserve to be in this army. But he clearly does not with level ups as crappy as that. That was awful. That was so awful. That was, oh my gosh. That made me, that makes me physically ill to see that. Ugh. Ugh. That's why Eric is not on the team, but he does get a little bit of action here. This is his job. This is his job is to take care of some of these monks and be my little magic support. He's not meant to be attacked in this chapter. He's under leveled. He did get another level up though, so I'll take that. That's going to be important for a reason I'll mention later. I don't want to spoil too much, but let's visit this village right now where we meet this crotchety old mustache man. I can't believe Vadon's under attack. If only Fargus were here. That guy is a great point. Do you remember looking at Fargus's stats? They're outrageous. He could have destroyed everything in the game. And Fargus versus Nurgle? Someone should do that. Someone someone needs to hack this game and do Fargus versus Nurgle. Please. I'd love to see it. I've got something here you can use to buy some time. Set this light rune. It'll block enemies advance. The only thing is it'll stop allies too. So watch your step, he says. So we get a light rune. Kind of interesting that we get two of these in succession. I usually don't even use them. But they have some utility. They essentially block off a space for a few turns. Which is nice in that if you have a choke point, you can kind of block it off. But this old woman says, why all the noise? It's the middle of the night. But, you know, instead of using a light rune, just use someone like Oswin to block off a choke point. Or if it's magic units, use, you know, Lucius or Urk or Canis. But anyway, I digress. It's the middle of the night. What? A fight? Are you going to do something or just stand around? You're, I don't see you doing anything. You're just standing there yelling at me. Really? Then here, take this. It should aid you. It's a restore staff. Actually very useful from this complaining, whining old woman. But... What it does, why can't you people fight at a decent hour? <laughs> Go save the world in the morning. Not now. But anyway, this Restore Staff actually is going to recover us from status conditions. We haven't had to deal a lot with status ailments yet, thank God. Oh, but we will. We will have to face that very, very soon. Um, anyway, I don't think there's any more units up in this top area here. If they there are, they'll come down and attack Lucius, and they would be monks anyway. So I'm actually going to use Lorena, I think to do this and come over here and attack with the steel lance. Now I want to use the steel lance, I think over the, oh, I can use the iron lance, but I want to actually be able to do some damage to these knights. What weapons do these uh, knights have? A steel lance. Well, I also don't want them to hit me either. If I can just avoid them. You know what, I'm gonna equip the slim lance. Let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. 
give myself maximum avoidance. I kind of almost paid the price against the uh, fighters in the last chapter, if you remember, when Florina had a little rough encounter with some fighters and actually took quite a bit of abuse. But we also do have to watch out for another another very important thing. We got a shine, by the way. It's that next level of light tone we haven't seen yet. We have to watch out for the ballista. You see that thing over there? That could probably reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it can. So we have to. <laughs> I hope there's not an archer that jumps on that thing next turn, or else I'm pretty screwed. But oh boy, <laughs> a lot to worry about already. Um, so we don't want any enemy archers to jump on those ballistas and start having their way with us. So. There we go. Guy able to make short work of that monk. Oh, we're going to get a level up. Guy's going to save the day. He's going to redeem for Urk's crappy level up with just HP and speed. <sighs> All right. Not a, not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. Guy's still amazing for level 13, but uh, that could have been so much better. That could have been so much more. Oh, well. All right. Let's see what else we have going on here. Um, we have Dart, of course, still has his monstrous resistance. And these guys have lances, right? So, oh, this guy's a sword. Oddly enough, that guy's a sword. So, let's see what we're going to do. How can we use Legault here? We can use Legault and the Killing Edge. The Killing Edge could probably destroy this thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's do... Let's. Elliot doesn't have a ranged... No, no one has a ranged weapon. I do have Ninian that allows me to move again, which is handy. So, I probably have to make use of that, I bet. Let's do this. Let's have Dart attack with a hand axe. And then I can have Dart move again after after that. So there we go. We still have Elliewood with a free action. So we can make Elliewood move. Let's see. Let's see. Now I'm at, I'm at a crossroads here. I want to try to figure out what to do in the best possible way. Let's do this. Let's move Elliot. Yeah, let's chip away. And then I'll, I'll give Legault the kill. Legault needs to kind of catch up. Even though he's already level 12. That's another reason why... That guy hit? Really? That's another reason why Legault is so useful. You recruit him, and he's right on par with all your other units. He's level 12, so that's really, really handy to just have that already on your team. There we go. Another kill there. Very, very nice. And a level up for Legal. Let's see how he does in his first level up. Hey, all right. Look at that. I was like, this is going to be a piece of crap. When I saw HP speed lock, I thought it was going to stop. But defense and res up, too. Look at that. Look at that for a level 13 Legal. I'll take that level. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Um, I don't know if anyone has ranged weapons. Oh yeah, we saw a new unit type as well. This is a Wyvern Rider. It's kind of funny, because I don't know why everyone makes a big deal about dragons when you actually have units that ride on dragons as well that you fight against. But I guess these are just supposed to be like wormlings, like little tiny dragons. We're not talking about little dragons from the Dragon's Gate. We're talking about big mother effing dragons that can just kill everything. So we gotta be careful about them. But that guy can actually reach Elliewood. So, you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's have Dart move again. Let's do that. Let's dance. Dance for Dart. Actually, I should be able to just move. I don't see why I can't just move right in this space. I don't think anything with a ranged weapon is going to come over here and surprise me. So, let's just dance for Dart again. So, Dart can actually move up and start to challenge those knights. Because that's what... Dart is going to be... I told you, he's going to be an amazing unit. I don't have Hector in this chapter. I didn't choose to take Hector. So, I'm just going to use... I'm going to rely on Dart a lot here with his Iron Axe to take care of all the stuff up there. And meanwhile, let's see what we have going on here. We have Priscilla. Oh, Priscilla can heal, right? I just want to make sure I'm out of the range of everyone in that specific space. But I believe I am. So, let's move Priscilla. Unless there's some mysterious thing that's going to come at me now. I have to remember, too, I also now have the Physics Staff. The Physics Staff will allow me a very, very useful... That's why you got to get that from that secret shop, the Physics Staff. Okay, good. That missed. Good, good, good. I guess my strategy of the Slim Lance paid off. Um, and a Ballista shot shouldn't kill Florina if someone jumps on it. Anyway, I don't even know if that's going to happen. But, oh, the Slim Lance is no more. That's sad. That's sad. But it shouldn't kill Florina just one shot from that. That would be pretty awful. Oh, darn. Getting hit for 10 damage, but he should be able to, yeah, double attack easily and take out that knight. But I really wish that he dodged that because, oh, man, now i got to heal him up too. Oh, a Brigand coming in from over there. Wyvern Riders. Wyvern Riders swarming. They have an awesome animation. Now, look at that battle sprite. I can't wait to have one on my team. I really love the Wyvern Rider class. It's essentially like a Pegasus Knight. You know how Pegasus Knights use weapons, but they're really good in resistance. Kind of makes them unique. Well, uh, oh, there's my archer that's going to try to jump on that. There was another monk coming from up there. So I guess uh, Florina will have to take care of that. But no problem. No problem. That's what she's there for. Or actually, I can have Urk do it. Why don't I have Urk do it? Yeah, because Urk is doing nothing else. So let's do that. Let's have Urk kind of move up here. Let's get everyone else out of the range of that monk. And Urk could actually take care of him easily. 
So there we go. Uh, but yeah, like like uh, Pegasus Knights are use weapons, they fly, and they have high resistance. Well, Wyvern Riders are more like your traditional unit. You see the high strength and high defense, but very very low resistance. So uh, they actually play out a lot differently. But they're kind of the counterpart to uh, Pegasus Knights. You can think of them that way. Um, all right, now I could use Legal and move all the way up here. So I think I'm actually going to do that because I want to get rid of that Brigand before he causes havoc. Uh, guy can't reach anything, so he's just gonna go here. I don't have an archer that can jump on the ballista. If I did, then I would be using it right now. But I might in Hector's mode when I do it. That's the thing. That's gonna be the great thing. Just depending on how units pan out, I w am gonna be ending up doing things in just all different ways in chapters. You'll see the strategies will probably change pretty drastically. So that's one really cool thing about actually doing two separate playthroughs. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here. I don't really want to waste the killing edge on a brigand especially since he doesn't look like he can't even touch me so he's not going to go to he can't reach any villages right now um so let's just yeah let's uh well i kind of want to see the killing edge in action too all right let's i have plenty of them let's use the killing edge. let's have some fun here we go yeah let's have some fun why not let's not joke around here we have we have plenty of units we have plenty of weapons let's do it i, I deserve that okay i know i put myself in a little bit of danger there but that's okay um I actually need Florina to fly, fly, fly quickly uh, over here. Now, this archer can reach the ballista, so we do have to be somewhat mindful of that. And given that, actually, I want to use Dart to actually kill him before. Dart still has the resistance boosted, so we don't have to worry about that. But I'm kind of running, I'm running out of units that can attack things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Florina to... Oh, man, she can take a lot of abuse from that Wyvern Rider. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I don't know if I can reach that archer in one turn. Oh, that's tricky. That's tricky. How far can that ballista go? How far? Let's see. How far can that archer attack? Oh, he can attack pretty much whatever he wants. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's good to know. So that archer is going to probably move up there next turn. So we have to make sure everyone else is out of that range. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move. Oh, man. This is tricky now because I really want to save that village. I really don't want that village to go down. Let's go here. And right, let's attack with the hand axe. Good, good, good. And I could, I could heal. If I need to heal uh, from a distance, I can do that. So that opens up. See, now I've kinda, I have to think about all my options. I have a whole new realm of possibilities now when it comes to healing because I can heal from a distance, something I could not do at all before. So very, very handy to be able to do that now. In fact, speaking of which, let's, we should probably do that now. Um, I can use Elliewood to probably chip away at the, the end of this thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Actually, enough damage to do that. So... Let's do that. Nice and easy to get rid of that Wyvern Rider. <laughs> Such a cool unit, though. I, I really do like that. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, that thing's going to jump on the ballista. That thing will attack whoever it wants. So uh, I have to make sure at least Florina and uh, Priscilla are not in range. So let's do this. Let's move Priscilla here. Let's use the Physics Staff to heal. Oh, wow. I can't actually reach very far with that thing. Um, so, man, I thought I could reach a lot further with that. Uh, not a fan, not a fan of the fact that I can't really reach Dart. Um, wow, I can't reach him at all. Is that, is that for real? Are you serious? Okay, I thought the physics staff would have a lot more range than that. I mean, it does when you get uh, better and better healers, but still. All right, let's just use the physics staff to heal up Dart from way over here. Um, and unfortunately, Priscilla is now in range of the Ballista. But, uh, I think she should be able to handle one hit from that thing. She won't get double attacked. I think she'll be fine. I really do. I think she'll be fine. Um, Florina, I'm just going to get out of the way. I hope... It, maybe you might not even jump on that. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I'm just trying to, you know, consider every possibility here. Uh, that space is safe, right? <laughs> now I'm paranoid and checking all the movement ranges. Okay. That space is safe, so that's fine. Um, Indian can actually go down here and get Guy to move again. I want Guy to kind of rejoin the fray, and no other units are in that bottom area, so we don't have to worry about that. She should be definitely safe over there if, if not then i'm in trouble but she should definitely be fine um and let's get guy to join in the combat over here let's move him forward a little bit so let's see what's going to happen in the enemy phase let's see if all if, let's see if i was right i'm very curious as to if that guy will he jump on the, uh, what a 95 miss i had a dart miss with an 87 now he missed with a 95 that's absurd that is absurd Ah, big hit there. That, that would have been really nice to dodge that guy. Guy that would have been really nice. I mean, I could have given them the Lance Reaver, but still, 
Ah, uh, that was that was a big hit. Hey, everyone probably will target him now. Oh god. Oh, okay. This Brigid, I thought he was gonna try to go for the village. Instead, trying to attack Legault. An interesting, interesting maneuver. Let's see if it pays off. This guy probably yeah, he do three damage. Wow. Dart would normally get destroyed by any sort of magic, but now one hit with the hand axe, and that monk is no more. This this is a great chapter for Dart. It really is. Trying to attack oh, the poison bow. Okay, good. We don't want to get poisoned. We haven't seen any poison yet. But if you get hit with any of these poison weapons, you will actually get inflicted with poison status. I think that's pretty obvious. But um, poison will actually drain your unit's HP over time. So you do have to be careful of that. You have to be mindful. Uh, those monks coming down, that's fine. There's actually two of them. Wow, way more than I thought. That's fine. Attack more lions for all I care. I don't really... It doesn't really concern me because I, that's why I have Urk here for. Urk's just going to move up. And there you go. This monk's dead. And the other one's going to be dead, too. I can just use Lucius. I mean, I could just leave Urk there to block things off, but I kind of want to give more experience to Lucius. I'm somewhat done giving experience to Urk, so let's give the experience to Lucius. And Urk is pretty much just going to be Merlinus's guard. I don't think we'll have to worry about much else, but still, just in case. Oh, ho, ho, Lucius, proving now, right back in Urk's face, it's just a battle. Who can get more critical hits? Who can be the better magic unit? Lucius definitely winning out so far. But... All right, let's see what we have to do here. Obviously, want to save that village up there. Don't want to let that fall to the enemy. Um, we have this archer. I'm so shocked that he did not jump on the baluster there. But he did, so it's fine by me. I don't, I don't really care. Uh, so that's great. Let's see. What can Ninian do? Ninian can't really do very much. But, oh, let's see. We have a knight there we have to get rid of. <laughs> we still have a knight here that should have been dead but is not. That sucks. That sucks so bad. That really, really does. Because now, now Dart has to spend a turn like dealing with that. And ugh, ugh. Well, I mean, I could use... Actually, let's use Florina. Let's have Florina spend a turn doing that. Because it's just so irritating. It's so irritating when things like that happen. She, she can't... She literally could not mess that up. So, there you go. Florina getting some experience and getting an easy kill. We're going to have Dart continue his advance. He still has plus four resistance. So, he can still hold his own up here. Especially with the hand axe equipped. Um, you can attack anything from a range, so that's great. I just don't want anything to get to that village. Now, Guy definitely needs some heals, so without a doubt, let's move uh, Priscilla here and just heal him up. Quick, nice and easy, back to full health. Nice, and we got to level up for Priscilla, all right, all right. Level 10, oh my god. No! What is with the level ups? And the RNG in general, I'm missing with all these easy, easy strikes. Ugh, ugh, <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. Why do you insist on doing this? Doing these types of things. Anyway, I only have one more strike with the Emblem Blade. Which is why I can't really double attack anything. But I can double attack with this. And I actually want to get rid of... I believe the Brigand would probably be the best move. Although, you know what might be even a better move? Is to take care of the Monk with uh, Legault. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take care of the Monk. Well, no, I want to take care of the Archer too. Ah, oh, so many things to consider. All right, that that brigand, can he reach that village? No. Okay, so he can't he can't really do much of anything. So let's do, and he can't move across this space, right? No, that space is blocked off. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's move you there with the iron sword. That should just be fine like that. No problem at all. Have Legault take out this uh, monk without a problem. And then we're going to have Guy move up and take out the archer. I think that's that's really the best thing to do. Legault, see, isn't it great? It's great to have a thief now that can just hold his own on the front lines. That's what Legault gives you. And that's what I really like about him as a unit. And that's going to block off this little section too. Um, should I, I could give him the Lance Reaver because he might be attacked, but I don't want to. Um... And I can't, unfortunately, use that emblem blade. I mean, that's, you might, well, why you have a sword with one use? It's very not, it's not very useful because you can't double attack with it anymore. Because um, it only has one durability. But it will be useful if we only do need to get that one hit. So I don't have to waste one of my main weapons. Um, and then Eliwood should be able to, yeah, with the steel sword. This guy's going to take, he's going to take a hit. I could use the rapier and get it done. But uh, my rapier is kind of running low. And I don't want to run out of it. So uh, there's no reason I can't handle taking a hit here, especially since I can use, um, what's her name? I can use, uh, Ninian to actually give Priscilla another move action, and then I can heal up 
with Eliwood. So that's, I think, what I'm going to do right now. Uh, that brigand is walled off down there, so he can't reach. No one, it looks like, can reach my units, which is great. So let's have Ninian just move up here, dance again for Priscilla, heal up my units, and we'll be on our way. We had a little bit of trouble, but it seems like we're getting out of it. Unless something from the mysterious darkness comes out and attacks... Uh, attacks Legal. It would have to be something with a lot of movement because Legal can see very, very far. So it would have to be something like some mounted unit, but it could happen. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, but yeah, Priscilla can just go here and heal up Eliwood. And there we go. See, no damage done in the end. And more experience. Priscilla's turning out to be so, so terrible though. So, so terrible. All right, here comes a knight. Ah, I knew that was going to probably take a hit there, but that's okay. Legault will probably only get hit by the knight. I don't think he's going to get even attacked by anything else, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. I know he might get attacked by the brigand, but oh, no, more brigands coming from the top. I knew I saw reinforcements coming from up there, but it's just that guy did eight, eight hit percentage. That is just sad. That is sad. Okay, we got more reinforcements, but it looks like we're generally clear of problems, so I'm just going to start... Advancing everyone forward. Urk can just stay back there to guard Merlinus if necessary. I really have no more use for him. That's exactly what I wanted. I want to just squeeze another level up out of him. Um, but yeah, he, he's served his purpose now. Florina can actually visit this place up here. Uh, you need special items to change classes. Oh, really now? Really? Is that so? This item's different for different units, too. That is true. We found the Guiding Ring, the Elysian Whip so far. Uh, I think we found some others. The Knight's Crest, Hero's Crest. Oh, he's just going to list them all. <laughs> I need a Guiding Ring. I uh, need the Elysian Whip. You can have it. Don't be shy. Now he's going to give us a free one. Not like I'll ever be able to use it. Now, if I were a cute little Pegasus, this is getting a little strange because Florina's a cute little Pegasus Knight, and this guy is giving him whips. And, uh, he's like, what? <laughs> this is getting really weird. <laughs> he's like, here, take my whips. I have chains, too, in the back. But... <laughs> well, anyway, let's see what we have down here. We have this. We should probably just use Dart to eliminate that knight, so I can do that easily. Uh, we can use Legault to eliminate this, or at least chip away at that. Oh, this is see, this is an instance where that one-use emblem blade is actually going to come in handy because assuming, assuming that doesn't hit, then Guy can uh, come up and just finish him off with one strike. So that's that's that is where the utility is of having items with one use left on them. Even though they're, they are mostly useless and worthless, I can use that emblem blade to just take them out like that. Nice, nice. So now we don't have to worry about that anymore. And Guy should automatically equip the next weapon in line, which is, unfortunately, that's the first emblem weapon to break. He should, yeah, equip the steel sword automatically. So we don't have to worry about that at all. Now, we do have to worry about this knight, but ha, that's why we have an axe user here. So Dart can come, just come down easy, easy. Use the iron axe. We could use the killer axe. Let, oh, let's use it. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I've earned it. All right. There we go. We didn't get a critical, but a one-hit kill. I'll take that. Let's have some fun. Why not? All righty. All right. All right. All right. I do want to heal uh, Legault. Or actually, you know what? I can do this. I can actually do this, which is much better. Let's use Ninian to give uh, Dart another move action. Now, if you notice, there's also an arena there, too. I didn't even talk about the arena that is right in the middle of the chapter. We could do some arena abuse, and I do plan on having some units go in there to test the arena. In fact, I could do that right now with Dart if I wanted to, um, because I don't think Dart is going to serve much purpose over here. Uh, what I really want to do is just move him out of the way, so then Priscilla can heal up Legault, and he should be fine right there. Uh, but, uh, no, 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 let's do that, let's do that. We still have to visit this village down here, let's not forget about that, but Florina can just fly down there and do that later, so let's visit, why don't we just visit the arena? Let's go, let's do it. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager 860 gold? I don't have any gold. <laughs> so maybe I can't go to the arena. I don't have any money, but that's all right, that's all right, it's not a big deal. Um, so <laughs> I forgot about that, we need money to do things like that, and I don't have any. I, mean, I could sell a bunch of stuff. I have plenty of stuff I could sell. I spent like anima magic tomes I'm probably not going to use, but whatever, it'll be fine. Um, so I guess Dark can just kind of move forward a little bit and do just stand there. <laughs> just stand there. Uh, give me Iron Axe. Why not? Just stand there. He should be more than fine, more than capable of taking care of himself. We can use Priscilla to heal up Legault right there. I'm not getting names mixed up. I, mean, I might have just jinxed myself, but I've noticed not getting names mixed up in this chapter. And then use Eliwood to block off that whole little area there so easy easy that's all done let's move on to the enemy phase let's see what's happening okay there comes the boss now the boss i have to be very careful about because oh ouch dart getting poisoned by the brigand okay oh but fighting back with a critical hit 
the boss actually has an item that I need to make sure that I steal. Um, so I'll show that off in a second. Ugh, crappy level ups. All chapter terrible level ups. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. All right, yeah, Dart's resistance is, is still beefy, but it's starting to run out. So these guys are able to chip away at him a lot more now. But if you notice, the boss is also a warrior. So, and he's gonna start moving now that we got in his movement range. So he is going to, he's pretty tough too. So we need to be careful. But like I said, he has an item that we need to actually steal. So reinforcements coming from above and below there. I don't have any money to wager in the arena. So, we are now met with a lot more units. Okay, this boss has a hero crest that you can steal for mercenaries, myrmidons, and fighters level 10 and up. I want to make sure I get my hands on that. Other than that, I mean, he does have a silver weapon and he can't do a ton of damage, but he's really not all that scary, especially if you use sword users. He probably won't even be able to hit them. Um, so, for now though, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to take the poison for now. Uh, he also has a bow too. Um, so let's see that boss's range. I don't want to get in his range. It's not very high. How many spaces do you? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I'm just going to pretty much move everyone away for now. Uh, we can use, uh, Florina there. We'll use, we'll just move. Yeah, we're kind of going to retreat and get in position so that I can fight this boss. I'm going to use this last vulnerary on Dart. Just because there's only one use vulnerary, it's just taking up an inventory slot. Might as well use it now that I need it. Um, and I'm going to play this very defensively here. So I'm going to put, let's see, let's see. I'm going to play this very, very defensively. I'm going to block up this little choke point here. I'm going to put Guy here with the Steel Lance. I can actually use um, Minion to make, I can actually make a lot of units move again. I don't know who I want to make move again. I'm going to probably have uh, Guy and, or not, yeah, Guy and Ellie would block off this little section here. Um, let's actually put Legault. Actually, why don't I have him go down and start to visit this village here? Well, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put him down there, just so I can see, okay, we have Cavaliers coming in now. So we do have to be mindful of all the reinforcements that are sh showing up, but we now get Lucius a little bit joining the joining the battle over here, so we can use that magic, which is nice. I don't want a unit to jump on that thing. You have to remember that archers can still do that if they so desire, um, but yeah, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too much to worry about. Let's do this right here. Let's go here, and of course you want to, oh, I know what I can do. I can use Ninian to make, uh, I was just saying I didn't mix up the names. You can use Florina move again. So let's do that and have Florina visit the village this turn. There we go. That'll be helpful. That'll be very, very helpful. So that's good. That's good. You always want to use, you want to make sure you dance every turn. I mean, not only do you just get free actions, but it's just more and more experience. I mean, you just want that. You want to maximize your experience. Wasn't that a Wyvern Rider that flew by here a while back? It was a new unit type that we haven't seen yet. I want to know what Burns Wyvern Riders are doing here. So Wyvern Riders, just like Pegasus Knights, are kind of signature to Ilya up north. Uh, Wyvern Riders are signature units of Burn. So it's kind of weird that we're seeing the units from Burn showing up over here. Are we under attack? Come on, do something. I heard that Wyvern Riders are fast and really tough. Sure, arrows and magic can bring him down, but this will cause him trouble too. It's a Worm Slayer. All right, I'll take that weapon. That weapon is specially geared towards taking out any dra dragon type of unit. So whether there'll be Wyvern Riders or actual dragons in the future remains to be seen. But yeah, that's what we need to use against them. All right, let's move her. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident nothing else is going to come back there. So, Okay, here comes the boss up against Elliewood. This guy can do some serious damage. Black Fang, he says. I bring an invitation from my master, Nurgle. Return the children to me. Seems foolish to deliver the message. After all, I can take them both myself and go now. You'll never take them all. Woo! <laughs> that can be a lot of damage right there. So we have to be very careful that that doesn't happen. But anyway, yeah, these guys can wall things off just fine by themselves, or at least should be able to. And now we got a lot of units moving in, though. And unfortunately, with that boss attacking, we probably won't be able to take out all of them. And also, you know, you won't be able to probably maximize all the experience that this chapter has to offer. Unless I keep retreating. I mean, I could, but I'm going to try to do as much as I can. Ninian luckily has a lot of resistance. So even though she's getting attacked by a magic unit, that won't be able to do very much damage at all. So, all right. So we'll probably have to end things this turn, which kind of stinks because there's a lot of experience on the map. But Oleg is at my doorstep, and I don't like that one bit. So Dart taking some poison damage. I don't like that either. Um, but what I definitely need to do is I definitely need to steal uh, his hero crest. So I need to do that now. Well, I do, yeah, I do, I do need to do that now. It does. That's the thing about this chapter is it does suck because you do have to leave a lot of units alive on the map. 
Uh, but I do need to steal that Hero Crest and take him out this turn. Uh, which shouldn't be that bad. He has pretty low resistance, so we can attack him with Lucius and be fine. So, let's first use uh, Florina to just take out this thing. I'm gonna, I'm banking on ending him this turn, notice. I'm gonna put all my units pretty much in danger. But all we need to do is defeat the boss, and then we're out of here, so. I'm gonna put Florina there to take out the monk. That'll give, uh, what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> Legault access to uh, stealing his hero crest, so I need to do that right now. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty. Uh, and now Elliewood's pretty much just gonna continue to take out Oleg. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be able to hit him. You notice he did, how much damage did he do? He did 14 damage, so he should be able to just continue to, it's actually a two strike, two turns, he can do exactly that. So the boss, rot, not really an issue here. Um, I am gonna use Guy to just get more experience against this thing. This guy's a hammer, oddly enough, but we just need to make sure that that doesn't, oh, okay. Okay, then just do that, fine. Whatever. Just take him out with a critical hit. Fine. Making up for the poor level ups, I see. Alright, fine. Have it your way. Um, Dark can... Actually, he can attack. He can do a lot. But, see, if Elliewood just keeps swinging at him with the Iron Sword, and hopefully he doesn't hit, then he could kill him. I mean, with four attacks, I mean, you have Ninian to make a move again. He can kill him guaranteed. So, assuming that he doesn't hit, like I said. But he shouldn't. I mean, that would be horribly, horribly unlucky. Um, so Elliewood is fine against the boss by himself. So that means I can start moving... I can actually move some other units up to try to get some more X. So let's do that. Let's see if anyone can reach anyone else. Though. Okay, Dark can. And, and uh, Lucius will be able to. So let's use... Yeah, try to just soak up as much experience as I can. Because this chapter will be done once we defeat Oleg. Again, it does suck that the way this chapter plays out, you can't really grind out more experience. Because there's all these enemy units that I could just kill very easily. But that's the way it goes. So... Just gonna continue to use. I really, really, really hope that doesn't hit. I mean, I still should be fine because I can heal. Okay, good. That just makes things so much easier now that that happens. We're just gonna take out Oleg, this big scary warrior boss with an iron sword. It's like, what? What? How, how does that even work? Anyway, let's just dance for Elliewood so we can move again. And then he'll be able to take out the boss. I'll use Lucius to take out one more enemy. And that'll be it. That'll be it for this chapter. Very, very simple. I didn't get to abuse the arena at all. You can do that, actually, if if your units are very defensive. Like, if you stay all the way back here, and you pretty much just let everything chase you. Like, you get all the villages, and then you retreat. Um, you could have it so that you kill all the units, and Oleg is just kind of stuck over here, waiting for you. Um, so you could do that, but I don't like to do that. And, I mean, there's no reason to arena abuse that much. I would have liked maybe one visit, but I don't have any money. I'd much rather spend it, though, on all these critical hit boosting items. That's much better. So let's use Lucius to take down this monk. Just get some more X, and then I'll be done. I'll be done. <laughs> maybe. See, this is the thing, though. This is kind of the thought that occurs to me. Are, are we kind of fulfilling Nurgle's plans? I think, actually, the game will address that. Is this sort of the idea? I mean, by sending out all these Black Fang members and expecting Elliewood to kill them, are we not creating more quintessence for Nurgle to harvest? That's an interesting plot line, but oh, let's uh, use Priscilla before we do that. Um, and for anything, just to just to get the X. I'll just uh, can I heal anyone from a distance? <laughs> well, one, one HP is not worth a use on that thing. So let's just torch to get some experience. I think that gives us yeah, that gives us something. So good. Um, so Elliot will be able to take down Oleg with no problem. Here we go. Yes, okay, good. Elio didn't get hit by that at all, which is great. He is done. We got his hero crest, which is great. In defeat, there is only death. Ugh, he says as he falls to the ground. Elio's going to get a lot of experience. A free level up for killing a boss. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. Come on, Elio, level 17. Uh, uh, we got defense. I mean, I'll take a defense point, but still, I'm uh, not a big fan of that. We did have to leave a lot of units on the map the way that turned out if I wanted to get the hero crest, which I really did. So, hey, are you okay? He says, uh, sorry to worry you. You don't have to push yourself, so, Lin says. We'll have time for mourning when this is all finished. For now, in my father's name, I'll do everything I can to stop Nurgle and protect the lands. So, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of experience left on that map, but that's pretty much how that chapter goes. I mean, like I said, you could position yourself incredibly defensively and wait for all those reinforcements to come, but, I mean, the, the amount of experience gained is marginal for the amount of time you'd have to invest. So, so what do you have in mind? 
We need to see Marcus Ostia, my brother? After all we've learned, we cannot, we can't we not tell him? Yeah, that's true. He is the most powerful territory in all of Lycia, just as Darren was explaining earlier that why we don't want them to get involved. Well, now we do want to get them involved. He's like, sure, I guess. Hector, why that odd expression? Hector doesn't want to meet Lord Uther, his brother. He's been lax in contacting him. Is it phase of phrase, uh, afraid to face him, right? What? How do you expect me to send him any messages? When we're, <laughs> when we're just like walking around doing whatever we want, he's pretty much like, he's going to be so mad. <laughs> you love the chemistry between those two characters. They're both in good spirits. It's a lot better than giving in to despair. I said, really, really, being happy is better than being sad? Wow, revelations from Lynn. And Lord Elliwood, are you feeling better? Marcus, I forgot about you again. I always forget about you. I'm fine, I worry about you, about Lord Elver. At my own discretion, I sent a messenger to, I didn't, I didn't order, I ordered this at all. I sent a messenger to Lady Eleonora. Of course, if you remember, that was Elliot's mother. Um, I see, thank you, Marcus, that was well done. I knew she would know, I thought she would know as soon as possible that Marcus's final moments were so very noble. Yes, they were. <laughs> just, just bring the mood way back down. It's like, we were so happy, everything was going well, and now, nope, nope, now it's just sadness again. Ah, Commander Marcus. Hey, who are you? Is that you? Is Adora? Oh, I guess. I don't know. Have we seen this unit before? Maybe we have very briefly. I finally found you. I'm glad you're well. Is Adora, what are you doing here? Don't tell me something's happened to Mother. She says, no, no. <laughs> don't tell me we're going to open another plot line. No, no, we're not. Not yet, anyway. Uh, she's well. Do not worry. One word of Lord Elbert's death preached her yesterday. She said not a word. She merely gave her full attention to the messenger. Okay. <laughs> she then issued me orders without hesitation. She commanded I deliver this sword to you and remain at this side. So how about that? A free unit to join our cause. We get Lady Isadora, but the castle defenses will be shorthanded. Lord Elliot, please understand your mother's feelings. Lord Elbert is not coming home. All your mother can do now is pray for your continued safety. That's right. Now that Lord Elbert is gone, Elliwood is the Marcus of Foray, and I mean, that's just the way it goes. We don't know that, but, or like the people don't know that, the common folk, but that's pretty much what's happening right now. Obey your father's dying wish. That is her message to you, and I have delivered it. Why not petition Ostia for reinforcements to help ward Castle Foray? That's a good idea. He's like, good idea, good thinking. Why don't we just ask them and be like, hey, can you help us can you help a brother out a little bit? I guess it would ease my mother's fears and bow to her wishes. Although, if you remember the plot line from way earlier, now that the castle defenses have supposedly been weakened, remember, Burn was looking to start war. That was a whole thing, too. And now if they get catch wind of that, maybe that's what Wyvern Riders are doing here. Who knows? Who knows? But a lot to think about. Are you ready to face them? Yes, I will serve with my very life, says Isadora, who we probably will never use because she is another Marcus archetype. Eric, is something wrong? Well, nothing's really wrong. I'm kind of sad that, you know, your father died. But other than that, it's not that bad. Oh, you were worried about me. <laughs> I, I, I just said that. See, they know me. The game knows me. The game knows me very well. I apologize for all the trouble. I'm fine now. I have my friends to lean on. Oh, that's nice. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Hector Lindis and you, Eric. Thanks to all of you, I'm getting stronger. I'm coming to believe that together we can overcome anything. This is what attaches you to characters in the game. I love that you are a character. It's, it's really, really a nice touch that the game does to draw you into the storyline and get you attached to the characters. But meanwhile, as you know, Nurgle's still alive and kicking. He says, Sonya, well, I'm Stella. Whoa. Now that looks like another villain character, if I ever saw one, and so does that. They look actually very, very similar. Kind of interesting. My wound needs time. It was a deep cut, and my strength is not what it was. The man who did this to me is dead. I'd like his son's death as compensation. As I said, Nurgle's gonna be pissed off, and he is upset. Sonya, you will use Brendan to move the Black Fang. I would see my prediction was somewhat right. We are now going to face the Black Fang's might for Nur Nurgle's just wants revenge at any cost. I do not need mere underlings now. I need the four fangs. So he needs the best of the best to go up against us. Leave it to me. I'll have them bowing their heads to you, my lord. Although, again, this begs the question, why don't RPG villains just use them in the first place and just kill everyone? But whatever. I'm still, I want you to gather me quintessence. For my injury to heal, I will need much. You are the strongest of all my morphs. Another buzzword, I told you. Kill all those who bear the signs of great power, as you will. So we still don't really know what that means, 
But we do know that Nurgle is back, and Nurgle is seeking revenge, and he is upset. And so we'll have to watch out for these four fangs. I'm sure they won't be that bad. Actually, they're, they're going to be pretty hard. But this is Shadow Mario 41. That was Chapter 20, New Resolve. Next time, we will be seeing what happens. I don't know who we're going to be attacked by now on our way to Castle Ostia to deliver some news. We'll find out next time in Fire Emblem. See you then.